Welcome back guys and welcome to the University of Tokyo's Hongo campus. This is where I am currently attending graduate school and while I won't be able to show you everything, this is all of the things that I have access to. So if you're ever in the area, there's a ton more to come and look at and explore. It's almost like in an old bomb shelter. Now this main clock tower is actually just a giant meeting hall, so there's nothing terribly exciting inside. Right behind the clock tower and right next to the cafeteria we have the co-op store. Now half of this is a kamini, so as you can see there's also just food and things you can grab for drinks. But on the other side is a souvenir shop and they have all kinds of different todai themed gifts you can get for your friends and family, lots of cookies and cakes, they even have curry packets. my favorite place on campus. It's the Sanshiro Pond, built in 1638 by the shogun who owned the land that our campus is now built on. Now you can always find students and staff having a brief rest on the benches here or enjoying their lunch on beautiful days like this. The pond is filled with koi fish and it's one of the greatest things to just come over here and watch them swim and just really have some peace and quiet in the middle of the city. Now, right now, it's under a huge renovation, which will not be finished for the next couple of years. So it doesn't look like much from the outside with this huge construction building they built over top of it. But as you can see, the architecture is quite nice and it's really lovely inside. The only way you can get into the library is with a student ID. I believe if you have a visitor's pass, you can also get in, but I'm really not. time for the weirdest part of campus, at least in my opinion. This is the stack area. So this whole little section of the library is almost built like a Cold War bunker. It's really bizarre, but all of the books and scrolls they have in here are all very historic. It's really fun to kind of look around and you, I don't know, it just kind of feels like you're in Harry Potter or something because I mean, these books are really old. Some of them are from the 1800s. I mean, you've got the gardens of Italy, old English glasses. It's really fun to kind of come up here and wander around. Now this whole area is just devoted to stacks upon stacks of all of these old scrolls. Now I didn't get them out because I'm sure I'm not qualified to handle them, but they could easily be around three to four hundred years old. Some of them really did look like they belonged. To one final place, the Akamon, or Red Gate, that Todai is famous for. I hope you've enjoyed looking around campus with me. Till next time!